Okay, hey everybody. So I'm going to do a video today about how to get your game up on Steam in the easiest steps possible. I've seen a lot of videos of people saying that they don't understand how to do it and whatnot, so uh, here's how I do it, and this is the simplest way I've been able to find out. So I'm going to put this link down in the description below, but uh, you're going to head over to Steamworks SDK, and you're going to download uh, their SDK package here. When you download it, it will give you an SDK folder with a bunch of stuff in it. And what you want to do is navigate to Tools and then the Steam Pipe GUI. And what this is is a very simple build uploader where you can put your app ID, your depot IDs, and then upload straight to Steam. You also have to tell it where the SDK Tools Content Builder is. And the reason for that is because in Tools Content Builder, it has a run build that it's going to need to access for when you hit the upload button. You also need to put in your Steam login ID at the bottom as well as your password and save the password because you're going to be uploading probably quite a bit. Uh, one other thing that I ended up doing was I made a personal uh, game builds folder just for my game builds for Mac and Windows. And in there, I just plop in the new build every time, uh, one for each. And that's what these are linking to in the browse over here. It's just the game builds window and the games build Mac. And then I added the app ID for what I had for those. So if you're like, I don't know where my app ID is. Once you make a new game for Steam, it will pre-build it for you with a number. That number right next to the title of the game is what your app ID is. Then at the bottom here, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll have edit Steamworks settings. If you go inside there, and then to Steam Pipe and Depots. This is where I made my depot, uh, which you can see the number four here, as well as for Windows, and then another depot for Mac. That way when I upload it, it knows which one to call for what. That's super simple. And then you go over to Builds. So as you see, I, I've done a lot of builds. Uh, and that's all through the uh, Steamworks GUI. And the latest one I have here is has a depot for the Windows and the Mac. And then uh, it is the default one, meaning that I have published this and it is now live on Steam. And I will walk through now the steps that I do to upload a new version. So let's say that I upload a new version of Windows and Mac and for my game and it's version number 23 and I want to upload it really quick. So you put in, put in the app ID, put in the depot. It all saves this information later on. And then all you have to do is hit upload. Once you hit upload, it will start unpacking it and re-extracting it to Steam, sending it all through their API system, which is super easy to do. Yes, you wanna allow access. And then it's gonna start uh, uploading the contents. It's gonna scan them first and then it's gonna upload them. And whatever has changed from one build to the other is what's being uploaded, not the whole thing in general. You don't even have to tell it what to upload. It just knows what has changed versus, I think it's timestamps or something like that. Once you're done, you'll get a successful uh, message at the very end. Oh, no chunks have been uploaded because nothing has changed in my, since my last upload. Now, if we go back to our builds, you'll see even though nothing has changed, I have a new uh, build done today. Um, so I'm going to select uh, it as default. I'm going to go over and preview the change. And I want to set my build to live. Now, even though that build is now live as the main one, it's not published. So I need to now go over to publish, prepare for publishing, publish to Steam, type in Steamworks like it wants you to. You can add change notes into it like, uh, you know, new, new AI or whatever, and then really publish. And then you'll get a message at the end saying, great, it's now live. So now it is uploaded to Steam. And if I go over to my games demo, if I were to hit play on it, it would tell, and something had changed, it would tell me that it has to download uh, new content first, and then it would be playable after that. So that's the easiest way I can tell you how to upload to Steam. I know that Steam has its own tutorials on YouTube on how to upload, but theirs are so convoluted. It's almost like a coder <laughs> decided to make a tutorial on how to do it. And they go into way more detail about stuff that you don't really need to worry about if you just want to get your game uploaded and onto Steam. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions on what else you want to see, uh, let me know.